Hello everyone and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies. In today's video we're going to be trying out a commenter challenge by Akin Chu. I believe, I hope I'm saying that right. Either way, comments on the screen now. And he suggested we try a ramming ship against the Aussies. So that's exactly what we're going to go. What we're going to go, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go into it now and I'm going to go ahead and design the airship as I usually do beforehand. Show you guys what I come up with and then we'll try the actual challenge. So I will be back in just a second. All right, and we are back with the Rammer. I know it's a terrible name. Oh, we need supply hatches. Okay. Uh, how many air crew? Okay. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Um, so we can just go like that, add that in there, add that. Uh, oh, no, that's going to mess with our service ceiling. Dang it. Yeah, because our service ceiling is exactly what it needs to be in order to be at the same. The altitude of the Aussies is like 182, I think. So, like, our service ceiling is just barely uh, in time with it. You know what? We don't need two engine pods. Uh, what's our speed currently? Our speed is 38. Move that, would be 39. Um, at that point, that gives us a lot more room to work with, which I think what we'd do is just go there and then maybe add, you know, if we're gonna do that, we can go ahead and add in another cockpit and another berth and a supply hatch, which shouldn't, yeah, and we'll still give us plenty of a sort of ceiling. So there we go. We're going to make that be the final design. All right, so we're going to try this out. Uh, I don't know if this will be very well, do very well. It's just purely a ramming ship. Uh, hopefully, we'll see. But that was the challenge and the suggestion, so we're going to try it. Let me set the battle up, and we'll be ready to go. All right, so we're using the Army of One setup here, which is one of the challenges I have. And we've got 5, 10, 15, 20 regular Aussies, and then... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, I think, of the Mark IIs. So oh, we're going to go ahead and save this. Rammer challenge. All right. So we're going to go ahead and use this. We're going to pause right away, and we are going to ram straight through there. You guys are going to ram straight through there. And basically, we're going to just have our ships ramming all the way through there and one of the good things about ramming is that you can actually ram and it's not going to actually affect full speed ahead let's go oh we're ramming our own ships that's not great I don't know how long our of operating we can expect to do. Let's go ahead and get as much as we can, guys. Come on. Main thing is, is we're not doing any damage. We're moving them around, but we're not really hurting them. Unless we could. Huh. Okay. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna restart this. We're gonna restart this because I actually have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea of how to do this. Okay, because we have a better serious serving than the Aussies, so we're going to utilize that. Okay, first off, you guys are going to go straight forward just like you did that time. Get them all nice and moved up. And then you two, you guys are going to move all, you guys are going to move like to there. And you guys are going to ram straight ahead like that. And then you three are just going to move along to there. Full speed ahead, go, go, go. Let's get those ramming started. Oh boy, we missed them. We missed some of them. Okay, full speed ahead, go. And catch them out, try and catch them. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna ram and we're gonna flip. I want you guys ramming there, and you ram there. down, try and catch them out. Okay. Ram down. Perfect. Ram up. Okay. Still give you guys orders. Okay, full speed ahead. Take them, take them down to the ground, guys. Go, go, go. Don't think we have much in the way of 
prospects of being successful here. Go, go, go. <laughs> see how we do. Our best bet at this point is just to try and crash and burn and kill the Aussies when we crash. Yeah, nope, immobile, disarm, disarm, disarm. Yeah, so that didn't really work. Um, but then I will be the first to admit, I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of ramming. I don't know what makes a good ramming ship. Uh, so I do apologize. Now, um, Akin Chu, if you're watching this, please post down below in the comments and let me know what makes for a good ramming ship, if, if you know. Or maybe uh, recommend if there's one on the Steam Workshop, if there's like a really good quality ramming ship, let me know what it is and I'll use that against the Aussies and I will also try and do my own version of that. But I don't know what makes a good ramming ship. I assume that it was just going to be making sure we have high enough service ceiling as well as quite a bit of speed because it seems like speed would be the biggest thing to impact ramming but i don't really know otherwise like is armor useful my only concern is like armor reduces speed and lift so like i don't know and that's the main thing the main problem with the ramming ship is that it has to have the a high enough service ceiling to be able to ram whatever it's going up against and the aussies have a 182 service ceiling that's how that's their service ceiling so i have to make sure i'm at least 180 roughly or a little bit higher now these guys were actually like 190 i think service ceiling on the rammers um, and that was because I took off the top engine pod. So again, it didn't seem like we did a whole lot. We destroyed a couple, but honestly, it didn't seem like we did a lot of damage. Um, let's, let's try and open up a quick combat. Let's do a combat real quick. And we're going to just do the day smart AI. And we're going to add some airships. And we're going to start off with adding a few Aussies. We're probably going to do like, um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Um. So we're going to just basically do them in a, I'm not going to like try and set them up in a bad formation or anything. And then we're going to put up against one rammer and see how it does. And the rammer is roughly 800. So yeah. All right. Ramming speed. Let's see how, how much damage. Okay. We actually take off the front ship. Now it seems to me that like we're going to need a little more speed and maneuver i mean it basically seems like it all comes down to basically just i mean if we can disarm them that actually would be really nice so let's just line up a ram here and ram forward take out their rifles yeah so we were only able to take out one we kind of missed the other one let's go up okay there we go and then we're gonna move back over here we're actually gonna just move down like there first oh nope uh, move forward and then down and we're going to ram at an angle um, ram there okay so yeah this is actually ramming ships are actually really good apparently if you know what you're doing so obviously not me um, seems like it, but it takes a lot of micromanaging so I don't know about dealing large scale Aussies but this actually might be the solution to the Aussies. We need to get behind them. We need to get far enough behind them so that we can. Okay, let's see if we can get moved up there. Okay, perfect. Now we need to move down to there. And we're taking a beating, but if we can... Ramming speed, go. Ah, uh, we missed. Yeah, we gotta, like, go straight ahead to get the guns. Get off me! Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna open that up. So that seems to actually work pretty, pretty well. So th four Aussies, and I'm actually fairly confident we can beat these. So this actually, we might have found the final, the fine. We might finally have found a way to beat the Aussies. Ramming ships. Now the only problem is, is well, I guess this is actually a genuine win in in, in the way this works, because while all because basically the challenge was originally is can we create a ship that's a bigger ship for a deal well i guess the idea was trying to find a larger ship that can beat the aussies and i don't know if this really counts as a large ship this is a relatively small ship all things considered 
but I still... I mean, hey, if this if we can win this, this is we're going to count this as a victory and it finally defeating the Aussies, though, again, we might have to try a slightly larger ramming ship. But again, I don't think ramming ships do well being larger. So honestly, I think this is really just a small ship versus a small ship. Which I think is the main issue. I need to back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. That's good. And ram full speed ahead. Go, go, go. Looks like our engine pod's out of service. Yep, our engine pod got taken out of service easy, so let's fire this back up again. Day, normal AI. Add ship. No, not land ships. Add. No, wrong one. Airships. Uh, we need a couple Aussies. Four to be precise. One, two, three, four. Four, and then add airship grammar mark one all right ramming speed dead on go 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 took out the guns on that one back up move into position Take, just taking a beating. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Ramming speed. Didn't take the guns out on it either, but... Go, 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 go. Seems like, yeah, we need to get a nut. Have plenty of speed built up. Okay, so we haven't won this. Uh, I'm probably going to do a follow-up video to this, um, but this, that's going to be all for today's video. seems like the rammer seems to work pretty well, so long as it's just mainly the main goal is we have to try and take out the Aussies' rifles before they just shoot us down completely. Either way, like I said, I will be doing a follow-up to this and seeing the ramming might be the solution to defeating the Aussies, but again... Does that does the rammer that I made the rammer mark one does that really qualify as a large ship? I don't th personally I don't think it does at best. It's a it's on the small side of being a medium ship But even then I again, I don't know if it really fits with the uh, The the idea the spirit of the challenge which was mass mass amounts of small ships versus a uh, versus like one or two larger ships so again I don't think it really qualifies for that. However, we are going to pursue this because I think this could be like the first time I've actually been able to beat the Aussies in any kind of challenge. So we're going to try that and definitely expect another video following the ramming. Uh, without further ado, though, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check back for more. And as always, till next time.